We're talking with Rory Murphy from BT Wholesale. Rory is responsible for handling digital media distribution initiatives at BT Wholesale, and that includes their new CDN product, Content Connect. Rory, most service providers around the world have been telling us that they're seeing fairly dramatic growth in traffic. Um, has that been your experience as well? I think those figures are, are accurate. I mean, we, we work with Cisco in terms of uh, our product called Content Connect and you know their own VNI forecast is looking at something like 70% of all traffic will be video over the, the next couple of years and you know anecdotally talking to other operators in other areas and other territories it's all very similar and uh, you know that's one of the reasons we're in this game we do think there's a possibility for us to improve the way content gets from the media player on the PC or the set-top box to the customer the end user's home and uh, without us, uh, I think, developing the products, you know, it's going to be a lot slower, a more painful task. Is there a particular type of traffic that you're seeing? I mean, for example, video uh, seems to be uh, the major driver for traffic growth for most, for most network operators. Are you seeing that as well? Yeah, I think uh, we see a lot of that. Uh, in terms of the UK, the iPlayer is the dominant force. Um, in terms of a single content partner, the BBC iPlayer has really trailblazed uh, and it's got great content, you know, and we all watch the BBC iPlayer, whether it's on our BT Vision set-top box or on our, you know, connected TV uh, or in Virgin TV. So there's a lot of opportunities to engage with BBC content and uh, they do a really great job. So, so that's the big one for the UK. Of course, globally, you have to look at Google and YouTube. You know, they generate a lot of content, whether it's short form or indeed now long form. And then I suppose you look at the States, you see you know, the Hulus and the Netflixes particularly you know, developing their sort of range and breadth of offering. Um, the UK is yet to have a rival to sort of Netflix and Hulu, although Love Film clearly are making moves in the space. Now, BT Wholesale is, you know, it sells bandwidth uh, to its retail partners. Wouldn't you be better off simply uh, charging more for bandwidth or benefiting from this kind of traffic growth because your ISPs would need more bandwidth? Why roll out a CDN solution? You know, we're trying to think of this in a different way in that, you know, it's a sustainable future for everyone who's involved in that value chain. So the ISP has to be involved in this value chain. They are bearing the, the weight of the video traffic. The content partner, the CSP, the content service partner in our language, they're also very much involved in this because they're, they're producing and often retailing that same content. And then there's a degree of number of aggregators who get involved as well. So our view is that you know, we really need to create products that address the particular problem that video has been causing those networks. Content Connect uh, faces competition from a number of traditional CDN vendors, particularly you know, Akamai, which has been doing this for over a decade, Limelight, and various others. How would you differentiate your offering from what uh, these typical or traditional CDN vendors offer? In terms of BT, our CDN product is slightly different in that we offer it in a number of variants. Um, one of the key things we could do from a wholesale point of view is put caching technology much deeper into the network, much closer to the end user, and that's what we've said about doing. So this enables us to offer what we call Content Connect Standard and Premium, which allows us to develop the product set for the ISPs that we work with, and they can get the content, if you like, through the network as opposed to over the top. Now, we also recognise that you know, our content partners want to get to 100% of broadband customers, whether they're on our network or another network. So in parallel, we've developed a, a product which is not dissimilar to an internet CDN operation, which we call Content Connect Basic, and that allows us to deliver, to deliver content from the same infrastructure over the top to any broadband end user. But I think our strength really is us developing through the network. How do you decide how deep you cache a particular piece of content? Um, do you push everything to the edge as close to the consumer as you can or do you uh, cache some content in a more sort of central location and then push certain types of content uh, as deep as you can? What's sort of the decision making process for that and, and, and how do you uh, go about doing that? I think it's a conversation between the ISP and the content partner that uh, are part of this sort of arrangement and um, you know, certain content will, will demand um, you know, higher quality. So it, a lot depends on where the content is going to, what's the situation for the end user to view that, whether it's a four inch or a four foot experience in terms of being very close or far away. 
So it's a conversation that we would have, uh, you know, and we'd recommend the particular type of variant of Content Connect that's more suited to the content going to the particular end user device. What has been the impact of this CDN of, of Content Connect on your network load? Are you uh, benefiting in terms of traffic or traffic congestion, transit costs? Has it helped in, in alleviating bandwidth? So we've rolled out Content Connect in a series of phases so that it's available on all of our platforms, which it is now. So it's very early days for Content Connect to say that it's uh, we're seeing particular trends yet. I think what we expect is that clearly the, the content partners to work with us um, by pushing their content through the network will get a better end quality and better results. Um, you know, that may affect and reduce the amount of peering that we have to do because in, maybe that content's been transferred from one route into another. But I think it's still early days, but uh, you know, we'll be happy to come back and talk to you about that in another six months' time. Great. Thanks, Rory. Thanks very much for talking to us today.